Hey guys, sir. I want to make a little quick video talking about the fuel solenoid on a lot of engines. This is mainly found in larger engines. I guess this is a single cylinder, 17 and a half horsepower uh, ride motor engine. But they've been around for years and they're on just about all of your bigger ride motor engines, even your V twins and everything like that. And this video is going to be talking about uh, what it does and a couple problems that will. Uh, happen if it's bad so if you've ever seen an older engine like you've been cutting grass or like on a tiller you've been out tilling and you shut shut it off then after the engine stops spinning a couple seconds later it'll go kapow backfire out the muffler so what's happening when it does that is when you turn the key off your engine's still turning over and it's still pumping a fuel mixture into the engine and that's building up inside the muffler or exhaust and there's probably a piece of uh, carbon or something glowing and it'll ignite it where it's so hot and then it'll you know just causing a minor explosion in the muffler and obviously it can scare people or animals and it can start a fire or something too if your exhaust is down low like this is close to the grass or something you know a spark could come out and ignite dead grass or something so they came up with this fuel solenoid and when this first came out it was mistaken as a like a fuel injector or a electronic metering that took the place of the float when actually this is an after fire solenoid when an engine backfires like that it's called an after fire so you probably hear it I'm going to connect this wire here you'll hear a distinct click coming from the engine when you turn your key on and that's the solenoid clicking so as long as your, en your ignition's on and your engine's running this solenoid's activated and it drops a rubber piece down like this that allows the fuel to flow into the emulsion tube of the carburetor and into the engine so when you turn your key off not only are you stopping ignition or spark you're also shutting power off to this which shuts the fuel flow off into the engine so you're saving a little bit of fuel not enough to make a difference you're cutting down on emissions with raw fuel being pumped out and, and you're eliminating the after fire so that's the purpose of it Will an engine run without this? Yes, it will. You can, there's actually a kit that's getting hard to find, but it just takes the place of this, and it's a bolt that goes in there with a the gasket, and you can just eliminate the wiring part of it, and it'll run fine. It may backfire when you shut it off. The first sign of one of these not working is when you turn your ignition on, you don't hear that distinct click coming from the carburetor. Obviously, it could be a loose wire here. The ground wire could be off. A fuse could be blown on the ignition circuit. There's a lot of things that could keep it from happening. But you can hook power straight to this. You got to be careful because the pins are really close. And if it don't click then you can eliminate your wiring and it's probably a solenoid. And you got to have a flat wrench, a real thin wrench to get in here to turn it. Because if you just try to spin it, the housing will turn like this. So there's two flat spots in there. You got to get in there to turn that, to loosen it. Then your new one will just screws right in there. Now be aware that when you take this off, you will have gas come out. So if you have a fuel valve, make sure to shut that off or pinch your fuel line or whatever you need to do to prevent a spill of gas. There will always be a little bit come out. You can't stop it all unless you run the engine dry, but usually they won't run with this. So what can happen, there's two things that can happen. One of them you might be able to fix without replacing this. Take it off. If the plunger gets stuck, it will keep the fuel from flowing so you'll never be able to start it. So you may be able to take it off and clean it with a WD-40 and let it soak and get it to free up. Or the, the solenoid part, the coil, the electrical part of it, because all this is is an electromagnet. When the power comes on there, it pulls it down. So the coil could be burned up on it. So you get about two different things that could cause a problem on there. So that's uh, pretty much all we're going to talk about in this video. I'm trying to keep this video short and make some shorter videos like this. But I do have a video, I'm pretty sure, of... Uh, on how to change this but like I said it's very simple uh, if you have to you can take a regular wrench and just grind it down to fit in between there I'm pretty sure it's half inch what these are or you get what's called a service wrench which is thin almost like a piece of sheet metal and just use that I'm pretty sure they probably actually sell a wrench just for doing this but anyway that's like I said I'm gonna try to keep this video short and just try to give you a little bit of information on the fuel solenoids it's a pretty common problem especially if you have a gas sitting in there for a long time everything can gum up and stop that plunger and you can probably just free it up 
So, all right, guys, questions, comments, leave a comment below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.